A cheater. What is a cheater? Is the very important question that needs to be asked. This can be many things. It can be the individual who you went to the party with at 1 a.m. and then the next time you see them, it's like... What? A cheater does not have to be a bad person. It just has to be a person who made a decision at a specific moment in time. In terms of baseball, when we are discussing the term cheater, we are talking 99% of the same thing. There is only one thing that you really think about when you think of cheating in baseball. And that will be on full display this evening, today. I am using Cheaters only. Yasmani Grandal will be the catcher today. From 2012, what did Grandal do exactly to get himself on this team? Well, this may have been the exact version of the year where he was suspended. He was suspended a very significant amount of time. For cheating. Jason Giambi will be the first baseman. 97, Jason Giambi. Now, you don't have to be suspended to be a cheater. You don't have to be proven that you are a cheater. You just have to somewhat admit it. You have to either be snitched on or you have to be guilty. A wise man once said, I lie, I cheat, I steal. This is what this is. Robinson Cano is probably one of the most recent cheaters that have been remembered. This man has been suspended multiple times. There is somewhat of a thing that when you do get to the later stage of your career, you do everything possible to try and make it last. I respect trying to get as much as you can out of the career you have. I don't know if it worked for Cano though. 99, Fernando Tatis Jr. is the most recent human being. This man, was almost non-existent for a while. I almost forgot who Tatis was. He was gone for such a long period of time, I almost just thought that seeing him play was just some sort of a nightmare. Tatis had a very lengthy suspension for a PED use. Now, it may have been for what he said was for a specific rash that he had, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it worked for him either. Gary Sheffield is a primary right fielder, but he will not be in right field. He will be the third baseman today. Gary Sheffield is a PED user, and we all know this by now. In fact, he was around the time when it was just running rampant in baseball. Taking PEDs at a specific point in Major League Baseball. Ryan Braun will be in the stadium today. This has been a little bit rare the last couple of seasons. I think the last season that Ryan Braun was in this game was maybe 2020, about three years maybe. If Ryan Braun doesn't have one of the most memorable, proven guilty PED uses, then I don't know who does. I think I remember Aaron Rodgers coming out and saying that he does not think Ryan Braun was cheating. And then not long after that, he was proven wrong. Sammy Sosa is remembered all too much for this. But to be honest with you, does anybody even care? I don't know if baseball was more entertaining than when Sammy Sosa was around. He may have been responsible for single-handedly saving the sport. I don't have the 99, by the way. Nelson Cruz is here. And he was also thrown the suspension hammer for a significant amount of time. By the way, they gave Nelson Cruz very good fielding on this card. This has to be the greatest Nelson Cruz defensive card I've ever seen. 67 speed. The most important. Maybe. One of the two most important people who are in the lineup tonight. The designated hitter. Mark McGuire has to be here. This would make no sense if him and Sammy Sosa weren't here. Again, I do not have the 99. But this is fine because this is, at this point in time, this is the only Mark McGuire from the Cardinals that is good. Or debatably. On the hill tonight will be 97 Michael Pineda. This guy's best friend was an illegal substance. The pine tar on Michael Pineda's neck has 
has to be one of the most famous pictures in the sports history. And to be honest, I don't know how the hell they gave Michael Pineda a 97. For the second game, there will be another starter you need. Whitey Ford will also be taking the mound, and this guy was one of them that maybe had to do something later in his career that he full-on admitted. You gotta respect just coming out of nowhere and being like, you know what, I cheated. The hell with it. This is also back when cheating wasn't even thought of, but everybody did it, it seemed. I have Brian Roberts on the bench. I have Jorge Polanco on the bench. I have George Brett and I have D. Gordon. Now, George Brett might be a questionable one because he was kind of dinged for doing something illegal on the baseball field, whether it was worthy or not. If you were going to try to not get into a fight with anybody, it would probably be George Brett. What you would expect would be power with this team, and this team sure as hell has it. This is a very good team, and you don't have to really worry about offense in it. This shit is slow today. The servers might be broken at the moment. In fact, I think the player of the month program just released like 15 minutes ago. Is that why? So the servers are broken and so is my faith that Michael Pineda will be able to succeed in rank. The floor is soaking wet in the clubhouse. Somebody get a mop. This team is capable of three things and all of them have to do with hitting 500 foot home runs. I never thought I would ask this question, but Michael Pineda. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Sosa going back. Can you be elite? If you are relying on Michael Pineda in this game. And that one hammered Sosa going back, back some more, back some more. Then you're doing something wrong. This might be three pitches. Three pitch inning in the first would be the greatest. Ah. Oh. Really? Don't throw that. That works. God, I'm inconsistent. Get the two guys out on two pitches and then Donaldson hit one that's still in the air. Fernando Tatis Jr. The last time I used him, he was going five for five with five home runs in the same game. Now, if he can even do a third of what he did. Corey Kluber is on the mound. I thought this guy was extinct in this game. I don't know what a Tatis single looks like. What does the swing animation look like when he hits a single? I lie, I cheat, I steal. Remember that. Remember the quote every single time you put your cleats on the dirt. That is the most important. Hang it from the top of the dugout fence. Sammy So says hit one 500 feet. How deep though? Can Mark McGuire hit the same thing? Nothing butters my whole wheat biscuit more than Corey Kluber getting taken to school. Screw this guy. And that's ball four. I don't think he really wanted that. That's lame. I don't want walks. That one laced the center and a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first. The ball is tomato soup at the moment. Nelson Cruz is so far away from the plate, I can't even see him. He's barely on the screen. I see his right leg. And he threw it to right. Why didn't I go? He threw it back to third base, man. That's, that's nice. Very nice. He might walk somebody in. I did. I did. What the fuck? Is it deep? Pathetic. Nice first inning. Ay, 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 Could have had six runs at least. This is going. And it bangs off the top of the wall. And he's in. Uh oh. I was ready to throw home. That one is absolutely That's bad. That's almost embarrassing. Three two. He handled a pretty good changeup down in the zone right there. To me, that says he was looking down, and that's why. I'll remember that. At least this is realistic. Michael Pineda is folding live on camera. Where's Roger Clemens when you need him? 
There's a Tati single. Everybody get the ointment out. You have to score. There's no reason why I should be losing. Every this might go. This has a chance to go. Corey Kluber is getting lit up. Sammy Sosa, 484. Sammy Sosa has came to the plate twice. He's pushing a thousand feet worth of home runs already. Pineda. Damn. Bullshit and horseshit. Center field. Sosa giving chase. Got it. On the same tray, on a 1933 antique plate. This is concerning behavior. Somebody get the fucking brisket out. The after game food meal platter is going to be iceberg cold after this one. This is going the distance as in the longest game ever. That is, oh, that's foul. That's foul, stupid. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. Good two to make this a reasonable game, this should have been played at a very low elevation stadium. You stink. Thank you. Throw Pineda in the trash bin. We have a game that has disappeared into the abyss. This game is knocking on the gates of hell's door to try and revive the offense. 7-6 in the sixth inning. I, I don't know. This, one blasted. Left center field. On its way. this is just, there's no, there's no singles being hit. I just want a baseball going to the gap. Tatis, Tatis! Why is Braun getting this? Throw it, stupid! And that one goes straight to the back. Come on, play it right! How about this game? Wow. This is the longest. Who the, who's making noise out there, huh? There's some scary noises coming from the hallway. It sounds like somebody's hissing like a snake. Some wizardry going on in the hallway. I thought they fixed it. I'm waiting for a boomstick home run. Oh my God, a ball to the gap. Come on. Actually, a home run would have been better. That would have been the time to hit the home run. No way. I'm going. Fuck it. It's way offline. Gary. That's not, it's gone. What the shit? I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to talk more lightly now. I've been... I've been talking very loudly the last couple of minutes. The 2-2. Sit your ass down. And that one is lifted in the air. Very nice. To watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. The throw into second, but he's in there easily. I was looking up in the air. I would expect nothing more of a bloodbath than this at Coors Field with a team with this much power. You can't really even imagine anything less.
perfectly. This is MLB 17 all over again. All you got to do is square and you'll get on base. What the f*** is the fake? And somehow he scores on a botch squeeze attempt. And they won't get him and he goes first to third on the error. Backle in the late stages of this one. A bunt and it's popped up. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that... Donaldson. And that's one away as the lead... Out to center... Snags it. Next pitch has popped up. Garrett. That one down the line. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Good slider inside. If he bunts, he will win. All he has to do is square and he will win. When is this a problem? Squares to That wasn't a nightmare. Since that was absolute chaos, why not continue the chaos? Let it all rain down today. There's a... I thought there was cat shit on my rug. It's just a piece of... Uh, this chair is falling apart and there's a piece of it on the ground. I thought it was cat shit. Whitey Ford is going to have to have a better outing than Pineda did. In fact, I really believe that if anybody besides Pineda took them out in the last game, that would not have been that insane. That shit needed to end. I might smell a worse outing, actually. Well, that was the right thing to throw. Come on, Mr. Ford. Not again. I think if you... I, that should be a challenge that needs to be tested. If you lay down a bunt every at-bat, you might succeed more than swinging. Wait a minute. Did he have 99 judge or did I... Did I see that right? Or is that who that is? I'm not even going to look. I don't want to be scared. I don't need to see somebody with 125. That's fair. Get it, get it, get it. Swings through it for the K. Judge is impossible to hit with. He's 10 feet tall. It's, in, it's insane. That doesn't work. You're kidding. Michael Pineda has more stamina than Whitey Ford after that one. Ah, this is, I don't know. I might just play until Pineda has no stamina. I'm, I just, you know, sometimes you want to sit down and play. Damn, he may have picked one of the worst minor league stadiums. It's okay. Well, no stadium's keeping that one in. 363 to left, and that leaves the yard by a football. A football! Nope. Let's see it, man. Let's see it from Sosa again. He hit two home runs, two impressive home runs in the last game, dude. And you love to see the Sammy Sosa hop after he hit the home Screw off. That's unfortunate. Did Mark McGuire do something? Jesus. I don't even know if I even hit anything with him in the last game. At least put something... You know, pressing the button. What are the odds he bunts? He has Ricky Henderson leading off. Get it, pick it up and throw it, pick it up and throw it, stupid! If he was rounding the base, I'd have been close! This should have been an opener day. I should have, I, sh I should have done that. I should have started a reliever and brought Pineda in the fifth or something. That was a quick first, though. Oh, yeah, that's still going. Don't, don't, don't. Let's see it, GMB. I want to see a no-doubt home run from everybody in the lineup tonight. That's the only way this is successful. And he swings and lifts one in deep center field. That 
bounce back there. God. You had the chance. You had the chance to watch it in a great way. Please don't tell me he's gone. Well, unfortunately,